the Bible declares that in three months, I need every man to say three months. Three months. A little bit more for say three months. three months. I need you to speak to your finances, say three months. Three months. I need you to speak to your future, say three months. three months. I need you to speak to that breakthrough that you need in your life and say three months. Three months. I need you to prophetically declare and decree that in the next three months you're going to see a change. You're going to see a rearrange because the presence of God is going to inundate and saturate every situation of your life. I need a man to say three months. I need a man to speak to his life and say three months. I need a man to God to speak to his wife and say three months. I need a man of God to speak to his body and say three months. Hello, this is Pastor Tony Stanley, and I have just completed the 90 Day Challenge um, with the Men's Net of Harvest Church, Kansas City, uh, spearheaded by Coach Jamal Mozik, and man, it was awesome. It was an awesome 90 Day Challenge. Uh, it has helped me to be more flexible, it has increased my stamina, and I am just excited for the next venture that's going to be uh, coming up. Uh, Coach Mozi just had a heart for this uh, under the direction of our very own Bishop Steve Howe. Uh It was awesome and I am looking forward to the next venture that the men's net will be um, spearheading and I'm excited. Enough said. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dexter Howard and uh, I am so excited about uh, the results that I have received from the 90 day challenge uh, that was uh, promoted through Mosey Fitness. Coach Jamar Mosey uh, is a incredible fitness training coach. Uh, he, over three months ago, he began a process, a journey in my life by uh, helping me to commit to the 90 day health challenge. Uh, and I cannot even begin to tell you of the tremendous results that I have experienced over the last three months. Um, I have lost over 15 pounds and I've lost over two inches in my waistline. I am so excited about my results. I feel better than I have felt in years. I play uh, at the highest level in college sports and so I know what it means to be in great shape. Uh, as a result of the 90 Day Health Challenge, uh, I feel better than I even felt as a college athlete. My mind is clearer, my thoughts are sharper, I have more energy, uh, and uh, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to conquer the world. No, man, this is your boy, A. Rollins. I don't do a whole lot of videos, man, but I just had to stop and talk about this 90 Day Challenge that we just completed. It was sponsored by the Harvest Church Men's Net. Shout out to my bishop, Bishop Steve Howe, for not just talking the talk, but walking the walk and going through the process with us, man. A great example, and I love you both now and forever. But I want to say to my boy, Jamar Mozi, the greatest personal trainer in the world, man, your slogan says it best, enough said. If you missed it, I can't even tell you what you missed. But one thing I can say, man, is that I had some goals set for this thing not just for what the workout was going to do but for some challenges and some goals that I set for myself and I can honestly say at the end of this 90 day challenge man it was manifested and achieved in my life so I am excited and I know I'm well able to complete this thing God bless you good morning Harvest Church well on this uh, day that we're celebrating Fitness, I just want to first off say thank you, Bishop, for allowing this 90-day challenge to go go on. And I want to say thank you to Coach Mo Z. Man, you have changed my life with this working out. I, I never was a workout type guy. I've always been an athlete who played sports and things like that. But just to, you know, work out on my own, on my body, that just never was my thing. And uh, I like the way you eased us into it and you taught us that it was all a mental mental barrier and once we were able to overcome how tough it was in our mind we were over, able to overcome it in our body and so um, I'm so proud of myself for completing the 90 day challenge and I remember the word that says if we did this uh, 90 days something would change and something would happen in our life and that has happened uh, great people were ready to help me and, and all God was seeing was I was going to be uh, 
uh, faithful to it and stick to it and I did and it was like right towards the end of the 90 day challenge uh, some people showed up in my life that were ready to help us and, and move us to the next level so I'm so excited about that as well I'm excited about uh, what it's doing for me energy wise and, and chasing my wife around the house more um, I, and I like the food challenges as well for me that that just goes right in line with my wife who is you know big on nutrition and so I've cut out the breads and all the you know sweet sugar drinks and sodas and things like that and so I'm taking care of this temple so that I can do what God has called me to do for the long haul you know I know exercise does the body little profit as compared to spiritual profit but we need this body to do the work of the Lord and so I'm so excited about this 90 day challenge I'm going to continue to work out with Coach Mo Z online I'm glad he's done that it makes it very affordable for us so I'm excited to continue with that and so I just want to say thank you again uh, Bishop and uh, thank you Coach Mo Z for this 90 day challenge God bless Good morning, family. This is Calvin Robertson, and I just want to give my testimony about the 90 day challenge. And as we were going into the challenge, I had a conversation with Jamar and I told him that I entered the year at about 240 pounds. Now, as you know, every year this house will do a dance fast. And so this year I said, you know what? Enough is enough. Right after the fast, I really stuck to a more disciplined diet. And as a result, I was able to keep off 10 pounds from the beginning of the year all the way to the beginning of the 90 day challenge. Only thing that was missing for me was the regular exercise, right? So when this came along, I signed in, jumped in, stuck with the program. And uh, as a result, uh, I've lost an additional 10 pounds. Um, I've leaned down a little bit, kind of, kind of, you know, sculpted it up a little bit and uh, you know, the misses, you know, I catch her, you know, catching a couple looks at a brother here and here and there. So, uh, you know, I like, I like that. I like that. Um, but there's, there's one thing that really, that really got me about this challenge. Like my whole wardrobe is, is, is shot. Like I got a tailored suit that was fit to my body and now it's baggy. It looks like a clown suit now. I don't, you know, all my stuff is just messed up. I got to punch extra holes in my belt, you know, all kind of crazy stuff pants don't fit it, it's crazy but you know I guess that's a I guess that's a good problem to have you know um, so I, I just want to say thank you to to Bishop for allowing something like this to happen in the ministry this is really a big deal for men and for ministry and period and and a special thanks to Jamar and, and the Mosey family for sticking with this I know it wasn't easy I thank you guys so um, let's keep the let's keep the train moving all right so uh, that's it for me. Enough said. I need a man to just receive that right now. That God can turn your business around. That he can turn your affairs around. That he can open up promotions. He can open doors for you. Three months, three months, three months, three months, three months, three months, three months. Yeah, everything changed in three months.